Now, uh, researchers have found the brightest burst of light ever recorded, but have unearthed further mysteries surrounding it. Now, the beam was 100 times brighter than any seen before and came from an exploding supernova 2.4 billion light years away. But astronomers are said to be stumped as to why this one was so powerful because the star was relatively small. Well, to make sense of this, joining me now is Professor Catherine Heymans, Astronomer Royal for Scotland and Professor of Astro physics at the University of Edinburgh. So um, the brightest burst of light ever recorded. Can you just try to explain to us for maybe non astrophysicists out there why this is so important? Yeah, good afternoon, Kylie. So um, this has been given the name The Boat, the brightest of all time. Um, it sort of smashed records in, on astronomical uh, levels um, in being, as you said, 100 times brighter than anything we'd seen before in the gamma rays. Um, so imagine uh, the Avengers Hulk with his gamma rays, that was what it emitted over a burst that lasted seven minutes. Um, so... US researchers have found that this was caused by a supernovae. Um, I guess maybe people might remember the Oasis song, uh, the smashing supernovae. Well, uh, a supernovae is what happens when a massive star dies. Um, it sort of collapses into uh, what we think might be a black hole. And in that explosion, it creates a lot of light. So uh, it was thought that because the boat had been the brightest of all times in gamma rays, it would also have a really, really powerful supernovae. Uh, but what these researchers have confirmed is that it was actually a pretty bog standard supernovae, which raises sort of lots of questions of like, well, why did this particular one appear so bright uh, for us observing it here on Earth. So what does all this mean then? What can we kind of read into it and then in the future learn from it, I guess? Yeah, so um, there are, they've estimated that this sort of event would only happen one every 10,000 years. So we're not going to get another event like this um, to compare with. Um, so there'll be lots of different types of research going on, more data taken. The other interesting thing that this US team has found is that they expected to see um, lots of heavy chemicals around this massive explosion. So um, I don't know if you're married, Kylie, but um, if you do have a gold wedding ring, um, we thought that that sort of heavy chemical, gold or platinum or uranium, that would be created in a massive explosive event like this. Um, but the US researchers haven't found any evidence of that. So again, it's another puzzle. Um, with this data, they've answered one question, what caused this massive, massive explosion in our universe? But it's left us with more questions of, well, why isn't it what we thought it would look like? Why aren't there these heavy chemicals there? Why isn't it as powerful as we thought it would be? Um, and, and that's why we love science, because you never <laughs> always get the right answer and you have to go back to the drawing board and, and think more deeply about the problem. I quite like the fact that this uh, insignificant star has such a, a, a the brightest burst of light ever recorded. Uh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Professor Catherine Heymans, <laughs> we appreciate your time here on BBC News. Thank you. Thank you.